Hello everyone, I'm Lazy Grouse, and today we're gonna start a new campaign in SFO Grimhammer with the Vampire Counts playing as Isabella von Karstein. There's been a recent update to SFO Grimhammer, so the Vampire Counts has gotten some new goodies. And uh, Isabella here, she's uh, she's got some new stuff. So we got a unique building in Castle Drakenhof, but I think that was that was old. And we get some new technologies after we take Altdorf, so that is definitely something we're going to do in this campaign. We get Dire Bats in every battle, which is awesome, because I think those are a tier 4 unit, so they're really strong. Uh, no upkeep for Hellbats and Fellbats and Dire Wolves in own territory is okay, it's going to save some money. We also get access to the Knights of the Red Death, which I think is kind of like Blood Knights, but they're on... Uh, winged hellsteeds or whether whatever the flying flying vampire mounts are called so that's really cool the empire entire vampire faction also got a new mechanic in the night court which um, gives a 10 turn buff with um, with different factions and some like army buffs but you also get a follower after I think it's after you do the quest. I haven't done this, but you also you get a quest with the reward of some treasure and some experience, and it costs one blood kiss for each of these. And that's about what I know, actually. Um, I've looked through the like patch up the patch notes and all that, but yes, I'm not entirely sure I if I remember everything. If that is everything. Might be, but let's see. This is the the Altdorf uh, technologies. Oh, and we get blood kisses for it. Neat. Get some items and some random bonuses. That's cool. So this is definitely something we're gonna do as well. And this is a nice way to get a bunch of blood kisses. I think we also get it from some of these no it's just it's just this one and we are gonna go down this one partly to get the blood kiss which is nice to get but we also get some growth and vampiric corruption is nice but i don't think we necessarily go all the way through it right away the recruit rank is nice but not necessary yeah so i think we'll start with these two and maybe get the corruption as well the corruption is nice and I think they rebalance the costs here. Yeah, now it costs three for the first one. I don't know if it still increases or it's three for each level. So, yeah, we'll go through this as well. But for now, the first thing we're gonna do is take Castle Drakenhof. So we're just gonna rush it down the... Basically the second turn, because we can't actually get to it this turn. But let's get some gro... Wait, that wasn't growth. That's... That's not growth when you're vampires. It is public order, which is nice. Although we don't need it because we do have perfect vampire vampire cor corruption. Um, so, uh, I think we're just going to go growth. Actually, we don't need growth. We were already at tier 3 and we'll wait with growth until we get to these things. So I guess we'll just get money for now. That's pretty good money. Let's get that, and then we'll get growth in the other places once we get there. Let's get some fell bats because they're gonna be real good in sieges because this is gonna be a siege battle. And nope, that's not how you raise that. Let's get these. And uh, I mean, we can get two zombies, but I'm gonna try to see if we can raise some dead over here and get some more skeletons because I'd rather have skeletons than than zombies. So, let's just pass. Yeah, so, Voldemort here, or also known as Manny, actually went and garrisoned, which is unfortunate, because um, it's gonna make this siege a lot harder. But I think we can still take it. Let's just step inside, raise some dead, and we got one more skeleton. I guess that's fine. Good enough. And let's just Let's just take him out. Yeah, so, 
The AI doesn't believe in us. But I do. I think we can take this. Okay, so... Okay, we don't get the fell bats right now. I guess they're just gonna pop out when we... No, not fell bats. Dire bats. I guess they're just gonna pop out once we... Once we start. But... We are just gonna bull rush this entire area and try to avoid this. So they only get two towers shooting at us. Because... Uh, well... We only really need to take this because our flyers are going to do most of this work, so... And I guess these are just going to go pound the wall. Our vampires are going to go up on the wall, and that's good enough. Oh, right. There's the the dire bats. And they're really strong. Like, they're 40 units, but their weapon strength and general stats are pretty good. And they're fast as all hell. Yeah, there's go they're going to be a big help in all of these. So, let's divvy these up in like two groups. And I guess you can be in group one. And you're just going to go and destroy these people on the wall. Let's have our skeletons. Uh, actually, let's... Hmm. Okay, you know what? Thing is, I want our vampires to get up there. So if we... Yeah, that's fine. We can take some time. We're not in a rush to get up on the wall because... Well, everything's gonna die on the wall thanks to our flyers, so it doesn't really matter. And why aren't you people moving? Get up there. So... The towers are going to do some damage, but that's fine. There's nothing we can do about that. They're running real fast. I have good dresses for running, I hope. And uh, let's hope they don't do the, uh, the movie cliches where they run around in high heels. Because they got a uh, really, really fast sprinting speed there. And our flyers are just taking the the wall the wall skeletons or I, I guess ghouls apart. Look at this. Barely have barely taken the damage and everything is just dying. And the Vargolves are so strong now. I mean there's only six of them, but they have such good stats and they have the hunger, so they're constantly gonna regenerate. And you can start going up there, you can go... Okay, these corners are so hard to get things to climb. Just get you up there. And just put you as close to the wall as possible so they don't shoot at you. And these firing arcs are tight. But this one is cleared. Oh, and there's Manny. Let's give him a... a Life Leech, or no, uh, Spirit Leech. Life Leech is the passive thing. Wait, how are they still operating this? What the? I guess they're operating it until until we take away their stuff, or take away their control, but they... I thought this would... They will lose this, the control of this as soon as we killed everything on the wall. Oh, whoa, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Get out of there. Oh, I hate this. Okay, so we're gonna lose a bunch of Black Knights now because they're too stupid to know how a gate works. Well, actually, the... The game is too stupid to realize how a, how a gate works. Okay, so... That's gonna be something. Let's send all of our flyers on these crypt ghouls. Oh, 
Oh, there's spirit leeching us. Bastards. Vampire. Let's keep spirit leeching Manny. Blood He's magic. taking some good damage there. That is nice. Okay. Isabella. Let's Swiftly. send these down. Let's take this methodically. See if we can lure Manny over here. Because it would be nice if we could just slaughter him early. And it seems like we can. Let's pop that. Die. Let's pop that. Oh, did I hit? We Good. And send in our flyers. Send in our ghouls. Queen oh, shit. Get out of there. You need to wait for the reinforcements now. Because you're taking way too much damage. But Manny needs to die. He is thoroughly debuffed now, at least. Uh, let's go and help with that. Try to open the gate, please. But this is gonna be pretty good, I think. Vampire. And on cooldown, let's keep die, draining die. Manny. Because if he dies, everything will lose a bunch of leadership. That will make this fight a lot easier. And he is dying quickly. Yes. Beautiful. And let's heal Isabella. And make sure our bar guys... Oh, yeah, bar guys. Kill the Vargolf. And all of our characters are on the Vargolf. Because he is a problem right now. In general, this is going pretty good. Okay, these are Felbats. That's fine. I'm fine with losing Felbats. They're very disposable. And this is taking a lot of damage, which is good. Oh, right. Um, we don't really want to go below... Below half, right? Yeah. Because as long as mana is 50%, then everything in our army get a pretty good stat boost. So, we're gonna want to maintain that. Let's send you in there and send you in there. Oops. So hard to click on things when there's a cloud of bats over <laughs> overhead. So... We need to take control of this courtyard. This this fight is going pretty well, so that will be a reality pretty soon. What are you doing over there? Go get in there, idiots. I and we can't overcast this, so don't think there's anything we necessarily need to heal right now. I mean, we can heal Isabella, but she's fine. Let's see. I don't think we have to cast anything actually. Save the mana for something more important like yeah, like their flyer squad over here that just sits in the town center for some reason. Which is really weird. Okay. Black Knights, go in. No, wait, but you don't need to do that. Let's charge these crypt ghouls in to the spearmen and the Black Knights are gonna I guess just charge in, whatever. Let's charge you into the zombies, and we can charge you into the skeleton spears. And you can do whatever. Oh, and we actually have this now, so get in there and rejo- No, get in there and rejoice! Rejoice, I tells ya! Okay, so... You can just... Go in there and attack them in the rear, that usually helps a little bit. Yeah, so this is gonna be really easy because they're not using their flyers for some reason. Like they're some kind of idiots. Let's see this clusterfuck over here. And I I love the Vargeist. They got the the punkiest hairstyles of all the vampire monsters. Look at those guys. Magnificent. And this. There shouldn't be much left of these. Oh, they are actually kind of surviving. Good on them. 
Get in there, you idiots. This is gonna be real blobby. Let's get in there, we got a lot of mana, so let's just... My ass on these cripples, gonna do pretty good damage. That's a lot of damage. 18 entities at once. Yeah. Usually kills a unit pretty efficiently. Oh. Come on. Let's, let's just kill these. Oh, come on. So hard to hit the, <laughs> the banners or the units. There we go. Get in there. Just burst them down. And hurry up. That is fine. Good. Um, okay. I guess these first. You're gonna be meat shields. Meat shields. You're gonna deal some damage. Because luckily these are not very armored units, which is basically what crypt ghouls are used to fighting because their armor piercing is terrible. So as soon as they fight anything with a modicum of armor, they they hit like wet noodles. But let's just send these over there. See if they attack. They're just gonna sit there, I guess. Well, um, can we reach him? Where are you? Are you there yet? You are. Oh, 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 there we go. They're here. Let's get a miasma on one of these fell bats. And let's just get all of you in there. I'm gonna destroy these fell bats. Yeah. Oh, and there's the Vargeists coming in. Let's spirit leech them right away. And you stay back here for now. Get this debuff on those. And where are my first ghouls? Get you into the fell bats. Can do some good damage in there. I guess you three can just go and help out with the fell bats. And as long as these survive, I'm fine. Because the fell bats are replaceable, the dire bats are free, and all of these are just here to take damage, basically. I don't care much about crypt ghouls, so it's not a big loss if they die, and skeletons and zombies are. Well, they're literal meat, meat shields. Well, they're literal meat shields. I guess these would be bone shields. And the black knights are pretty good, so I want them to li live actually. Yeah, so we only lost four fell bats, that's pretty good. And we can just get that and get those back. And uh, we got some money and stuff, and um, we're just gonna occupy. We could subjugate, but we really want Castle Drakenhof, so we're not gonna subjugate. Because there are some some unique buildings we got over here. We got two landmarks. Mausoleum of the Mad Count, which is gonna give us a bunch of vampires, a bunch of uh, recruit rank for vampires, and it's gonna give us the Knights of the Red Death, which is awesome. And this, uh, I guess that's mostly recruit rank, and I guess the settlement building income is pretty nice, but Otherwise, kind of mediocre tier 5 landmark. So, we got a, a couple of new units. The Spirit Host, I think, was added in this update. And from what it... From the stats, it seems like it's uh, kind of a can Wraith, but with the bigger, bigger unit size and a little bit uh, lower stats, but I mean that that gets compensated by the bigger unit size You got the enfeeble attack. Oh, that's pretty good debuffs everything around her around them uh, Oh, they got regeneration. It's not a big region, but it's something and Rest is kind of normal for undead units. Oh, that's a big missile resistance. So Missiles aren't gonna do much because they get 
nullified by the missile resistance and physical resistance. I don't know if that's additive or multiplicative. Hmm. Because one would make them immune to missile resist um, missile attacks, but so I think it would be multi multi multiplicative. Oh. Mouth isn't working. <laughs> okay, so we can't get the landmark, but there is a gold mine here. Another re very good reason to get this as early as possible. And unfortunately, that means Manny has to die, but he had a good run. It was a very good first turn for him. So let's get some bats back. And we're just gonna recuperate. Oh, and I guess a unit of zombies because we're gonna get moving next turn and just start going after Templehof. So, is there anything else we need to do this turn, or do we just pass? I think we just pass. Right, actually, we'd never looked at uh, Isabella's um, her trait. So she. Gets a, gets a big buff if uh, Vlad is reinforcing. Well, bo they both do. Um, and Vampires gets big buffs in her army. And there's some Felbats and Direwolves bonuses, but that's not gonna... That's not that important. It, it was only speed, right? Yeah, so... I mean, the speed is nice, but it's not crucial. But let's start with Eshen, because we can actually reach there. So we can just... Plow through their their kingdom, dukedom, duchy. I don't know, but this is real simple. So we're just gonna auto resolve that. And uh, I'm assuming now that they can't reach Drakenhof from there. Um, we can't. Oh, because we can't see their movement, but. I don't think we could have reached there, so I don't think they should either. And um, who is their legendary lord? Speak now. Oh, so he's the guy we killed. Did we get a blood kiss for that? Oh, we did. So we can get one of these. They come with really nice buffs. Or we can get one of these. I think we're gonna take a uh, a bloodline first because these buffs are pretty good. So some of these you really don't have to get to the end. Like this is fine. The cavalry weapon strength is very nice, but you get that all the way back here. So you basically get unit experience and immune to untainted attrition, which is nice, but don't need it. The weapon strength is very nice, so it, it, it is nice to get that eventually. The headhunter is good. The research rate is awesome. Like, that's 50%. That's such a big boost. Don't necessarily have to get the, the final one. The summon is nice, but not necessary. Miscast chance is fine. I like the mortal levies. Give some crossbowmen and uh, handgunners to the vampires. Because they don't have any... Any range units naturally, so it's a, uh, it's pretty nice. Not necessary though, but nice. Uh, campaign movement range is very nice, and vampire corruption is great when you start uh, start conquering uh, the humans, because that will give you your corruption faster. And I don't think Lamians are that good. The lowered missile weapon range is pretty good, but. That's that's a tier 3, so that's going to take a while. So I don't know what we do first. Maybe we get the crossbowman. Although we're not going to use that right away either. Maybe we just sit on this until we can decide, actually. Oh, and we got some leveling to do. So we are going to beeline it to lightning strike, but I don't think we need any of the others here. I mean, 5% movement range isn't really worth it. And 4% up, four upkeep isn't really going to change anything, so... We're just going to go to Lightning Strike, and that's going to be it. The cash to the replenishment rate is great. And I think that's what we're going to go for. Oh, actually, 
hero capacity for vampires for if we get over here and the upkeep is very nice because the the vampires are incredibly expensive so I would like to get the casualty replenishment but I'm gonna have to go with that and I think we get casualty replenishment from the vampires anyway oh and the the vampires are incredibly expensive as you can see so the the upkeep is gonna be good but you get the hunger at level 8 so I guess we just go to penumbral pendulum for now because it's such a good spell oh right only two and spirit leech is great life leeching is good because it gives us power replenishment or recharge and uh, I mean we are gonna have to get the purple sun because it's honestly one of the one of the best campaign spells well most most vortexes are but it's just so good and let's hope that they can't reach because I am not sure I think they can't but I can't say for sure okay so they just oh um faction wide is fine so they just went up to Waldenhof I'll have your soul. that is awesome that is the optimal, because I, that is exactly where I want to go. I just didn't want you to attack Castlehof. So, no, Drakenhof. So let's take you out. We should be able to handle this, no problem, right? Um, and I think I'd rather take this myself. Because we're going to take a lot of, a lot of uh, casualties if we auto-resolve this. And I want to go straight for the... The... Um, the walled city after this so let's fight it okay so they have way more way more uh, what should I call it like land mobility units so we're just gonna well not box in but we're gonna take a defensive posture here and we're gonna harass them with flying stuff. Put you in the middle, or I guess we can spread you out a little bit, like so. That's fine. And the Dark Knights, Black Knights, are gonna run around and try to kill hounds. Let's put you in two. Put you in three. And that's good. Oh, they're... They actually got better... Better odds, so to say. That's interesting. I didn't think that would be the case. So. Oh, wait. They have flyers. <laughs> We're just gonna... Since they can't shoot. Because, well, va vampires. We're just gonna destroy their bats. Right and early. Because there is nothing they can do about that. I mean, they can buff it, but yeah, look how quickly they die. There is nothing they can do. There we go. Let's split these up a little bit. Have you move. And... We can just... Uh, I want to just descend on some of these. There we go. Okay. Grab you and you go after that because they're gonna try to help probably. Yeah, so these are just gonna melt. Let's grab some of you to go after the die wolves. So, okay. They're actually attacking me now. Good. Because these are gonna die real quick. Oh, they have more fell bats over there. Should have paid attention because I could have killed those first. Oh, you can go sit over there. Go and survive. Fight another day. Oh. Come on. They're so slow. So we have plenty of time to kill these. Let's 
put you up in the air again. Oh. Trying to kill my knights with die wolves? Yeah, that's not gonna work out for you. <laughs> so, good luck with that. Uh, there's the flyers. So let's go kill these dire bats. And once these are dead, okay, let's let's see if you can go and help. Hmm. Could grab our our vargeists and just try to slaughter their lord because they it is a, a wizard. Could probably get a like a real good charge on him, deal a ton of damage. And yeah, look at him take look at him take that damage. Yes. Charge in in there. Just screen. And yeah, just murder this lord and uh Okay, back off. Before we get a big old crypt horror in the back. Because they're gonna do loads of damage. Okay, there's nothing really they can do about that, really. So, keep getting out of there. Come on. Just get up in the air. You should outrun them. Just don't get stuck. So we have one unit here that seems to get stuck. Yeah, okay, they're fine. Good. Oh, they healed up real good. That's fine. At least cost them some, some magic. And let's just blast these zombies down. Okay. So they're very separated now, so we can probably just finish that off now. Go in there. Go in there. Let's debuff these so they don't do any damage. Help with that. Cast that. Get in there. And we can probably spirit leech uh, that. Get in and kill that. Damn, he's not dying. Oh, that's a good hit. Okay, get out of there. The crypt horrors are coming in. Because they can do a lot of damage to our bar guys. Okay, good disengage. Back over here. We are slaughtering their stuff. Let's get you over there. These flyers can actually get into those crypt ghouls. And the zombies doesn't matter. Oh, and there, the crypt horrors are leaving them, so. This vampire lord is going down. Charge in there. Charge in there. And that's gonna be fine. And this is gonna be the end for Dieter the Stickler. He's a stickler? <laughs> oh, that's a silly name. Some vampires just get the worst names. Dieter the Stickler. Oh, and their lord is dead. Good. So, yeah, see how all of their leadership dropped? Mm, that is beautiful. So, let's have you charge in there. We can just slaughter these zombies real quick. And I should probably, shouldn't probably send in our fell bats against crypt ghouls, but it is charged from behind and that's gonna tank their leadership for a little bit let's just send you in there yeah okay so it is the dire bats we have here right that's gonna they're gonna do good work against the crypt ghouls and they're dying real fast very good Crush the breathers. so let's get a Cast them there. Send you in. Do we have some debuffs? 
don't have the miscast chance. It's fine if we lose some some bats. It's not a big deal. Dire bats are well, they're free, so it doesn't matter. Send you in there. Help the black knights. See if we can get a cycle charge here. And these are crumbling. These are dying. These crypt horrors are problematic. We don't have that. We don't have that. And we don't need to heal anything really. So let's get a charge on these zombies. And there's some screeching coming from these bats and bar guys, but that is uh, that is army losses. We are losing some fell bats, but once again, we can just get them back. It's not a problem because they they're just here to go in, deal some damage, and if they die, that's fine. Black Knights and War Guys are basically the only thing I care about surviving and of course our characters, but they're not gonna die. Okay, so yeah, we lost most of our bats, but actually we lost four again, the same as the last combat, but that's fine. We're just gonna occupy it and we have the entire uh, province. Perfect. So we are definitely gonna go growth. Yeah. And we can probably get rid of some of these. So yeah. Dump those. Um, we're gonna exchange those for growth. And um, we're gonna keep going fell bats because we are gonna do sieges. Wait, I thought we lost four fell bats. I guess we only lost two. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's nice. So let's get these. I don't think we can recruit any vampires. Nope, but it's there when we need it. And uh, let's get the pendulum. The miasma is very good. What does it do? Okay, so the overcast. The overcast is just longer range and bigger speed debuff doesn't actually change the damage so it's not actually a big difference in in cost though right maybe it is all right it's seven or something i think either way i don't think that's worth it let's just get the pendulum the pendulum is great really good wind spell and you are actually you're gonna get replenishment Someone needs needs to, and Soul Blight is good. And that's gonna be it. And I think we're gonna end the episode. Oh, actually, we need to do this. So, we're gonna end the episode here. We didn't get many turns, but we did expand greatly. And uh, it's a good start. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.